Welcome to my cabin and today in this video we are going to be looking at the topic of Halloween. Now I will say, quick disclaimer, I am not going to show you everything from Halloween on board this cruise ship because I do genuinely think if you are planning to take a similar cruise next year, I don't want to give everything away. But what I do want to do is give you a really good feel for if you're planning to spend Halloween as a seasonal event on board a Virgin cruise ship, what would that actually look like? Now, I've never cruised at Halloween before. I didn't actually think that this would be an event that cruise lines would specifically mark. However, I was completely wrong. So in this video, we're going to look at a couple of different topics. First up, we're going to talk about the food on board. We're then going to talk about the events. We're then going to talk about how the ship got decorated. And finally, we're going to talk about customer buy-in or passenger buy-in because I genuinely think that a cruise line can do as much as they possibly could do, but at the end of the day, if the passengers don't buy into it, it's a bit of an issue. So yeah, we'll touch on that at the very end because I think it's important to cover. Now let us get started thinking about food on board this ship. Now if you have never cruised with Virgin, or if even if you have cruised with Virgin, you may or may not know that this ship is considered to be a bit of a foodie ship in the respect that it scores quite highly on its food offering. Now, on this ship and on their other Virgin ships, they've actually now totally got rid of main dining rooms and they service passengers, or sailors as they call them on here, with a series of included complimentary restaurants. So instead of it being one big dining hall that everyone sits in, you go to your individual restaurants. Now, in addition to them, there's more casual places that you could eat around the ship, and that's what I'm going to hone in on today by giving you a couple of different examples. Now, there's three venues in particular that did a very, very good job of theming for Halloween. Now, what I enjoyed about this was it wasn't announced anywhere that there were going to be special bakery items or special cakes or whatever around the ship. It was very much a case of you would just go and figure it out and you would just go for for example an ice cream which we'll come back to and you would realize that oh there's a Halloween flavor and it was really discreet how they did their food theming throughout the ship I really really respect that so a couple of different examples that I wanted to give to you was number one the grounds club now the grounds club is the onboard coffee shop on a virgin cruise ship and you'll find that down on deck number seven in the midship area now in there you can go down whatever time of day and get a tea or a coffee along with a pastry. Now that's usually the usual sort of morning pastries that are on offer. However, for Halloween they had like cookies that had eyeballs in them, they had ghost muffins, they had loads of different varieties of snacks which I personally have definitely never ever seen before and it was so cool to go down and just randomly discover them sitting in the counter. Now, when you go slightly further down the ship, you then got to the social club. Now, this is the venue on board where you can go and get chicken wings, you can get hot dogs, and they also have a cake counter at the side. Now, in there, there was yet more special Halloween food offerings. It was so good. And if you were looking for even more, all you had to do was go to the galley and go over to, I believe it's called the sweet spot, which is where they offer all their desserts up there. And in there, they had entire cases dedicated to Halloween. One thing that is really cool that is worth looking out for is that on every Virgin ship, they have one dessert or one cake that is named after that ship. So on Valiant Lady, the cake in question is called, yes, no awards for creativity, but the cake is called Valiant Lady. And it's essentially a blue long cake, which for Halloween, they covered it and it was red it was it was awesome but that cake counter up there was completely full now the final food offering to mention to you about halloween on a virgin cruise is the ice cream shop now the ice cream on a virgin cruise is completely included in your cruise fare so you don't pay anything extra for that and this was one of my favorite little finds from halloween so i went down just to get a cookies and cream ice cream however this time it came with a twist because when you looked in, they had jelly snakes and various other items all blended through the ice cream. So you would get an ice cream cone and suddenly there would be a snake inside. It was so 
Good. So from a food theming point of view, really, really impressed with what Virgin were actually able to execute. And to be honest, without most of the passengers even knowing about it, it wasn't thrown in your face. It was very much there if you wanted to discover it. Now, speaking of there if you want to discover it, let's go to the total other end of the spectrum and let's talk about decoration. Now, Virgin do a very, very, very good job of decorating these ships when it gets to a seasonal event. Now, I have never actually seen a Virgin cruise ship at Christmas, but after seeing it at Halloween, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the team on here do to celebrate Christmas, because it was really, it was really, really special. Now, there's one venue on the ship which is called the Roundabout. Now, this is essentially the heart of the ship, right in the very centre. Now, from there, you've got a number of different venues, a number of different bars that span off in all different directions. Now, the way that they theme this for Halloween, really, really simple. The colours in the roof could be whatever colour you want. They made them Halloween colours. They then hosted multiple Halloween events all around the upper floor of that, which, yeah, it's a fantastic space to go and hang out and spend a bit of time. Now, let's now move along and think about the manor. Now, the manor on board is a multi-use venue, which it's often used for dinner shows. It's also used for the drag artist on board. And it's also used as the onboard nightclub. Now, Halloween night, that place, which I'll come back to in a second, was completely transformed. Think skeletons hanging from the roof. Think cobwebs hanging all over the walls. Think blood footprints going into the venue. Whoever had the creative head to transform that venue did a very, very, very good job on here. It is the most impressive theming I have ever seen for a cruise ship party. So really, really good. Now the final element of decoration that I wanted to talk to you guys about was the outside of the ship. Now this is a part of a cruise ship which a lot of people often don't think about when they look at how to decorate for an event. Now on Halloween night itself, we were docked in the port of Malaga and often a cruise ship from the outside, you'll have the balcony lights, and that'll be it, the funnel will probably light up. However, Virgin did something pretty unique with the outside of our cruise ship for Halloween night. What they did was they used all of the lights on the outside of the ship to spell out something that you could look at from the shore and it would say something. So on Halloween night, they spell out the word boo with a ghost on either side of the word so that anyone looking from the city out to the ship got a Halloween message from us. It is, it's so cool. Now, just on that point, when we were slightly later into this cruise and we left Funchal in Madeira, the captain was able to program the outside of the ship so that the balcony lights, as we sailed away, said thank you in Portuguese, which, yeah, it's really cool how Virgin can do that. But that's a little thing which a lot of people on this ship may not have even realised that we did from a decoration point of view. But it's really, really effective if you leave the ship and then look back to it. So yeah, really, really big thumbs up from my point of view. Now, events. We need to talk about the daily schedule. Now, if you followed my channel, you'll know that any ship I get on, I always talk to you about what the daily schedule looks like for that specific cruise line. Now, with Virgin, most of this is done digitally now, but you can collect a paper copy from a couple of different venues on board. For example, guest services or sailor services, as they say on here, the Grounds Club or the Grounds Club 2 up at the galley, or there's a venue at the roundabout that you can also collect from. Now, when you come into your cabin on day one, you've got the paper copy here, and it's really clever because even on the back here, everything has been adjusted to be a Halloween theme. It's, yeah, so, so impressive how they were able to twist this into absolutely everything. Now, in terms of events, when you open the daily schedule on day one, well, before you open it, actually, you'll see that down at the bottom, they've got a pub crawl that's on offer, and that's zombie-themed. So it actually says on here, why not dress up and come and join us? And then when you open up the inside, you've got an entire page of events which... To be honest, they look Halloween themed, but to be totally transparent, not all of these are Halloween themed. Now, the key events that took place on this ship, which did follow the Halloween theme, 
where the Spellbinding Pyjama Party on night number one. We then had the Festival of Frights in the Manor, which was like a dance party, but slightly themed. You then moved on to the Sirens and Sailors Costume Ball. Now, that was the big one on Halloween, and that was followed by the Halloween After Party back in the Manor. There was then a few events, so for example, Bingo, Comedy, they obviously are not Halloween. And then the next Halloween one was... Actually, I think that was it from a Halloween event point of view, judging by what's on there. Now, they did have other things dotted throughout the week. So they had like Halloween cocktails, they had Halloween um, like art sessions where you could go and meet the resident artist and do Halloween crafts. So they were painting on little skull ornaments and things. So it was really, really nicely done all the way through Halloween. And each of these events were absolutely brilliant. My favourite event on here for Halloween had to be the costume ball. I have never seen a venue, going back to the manor, I've never seen a venue so intensely decorated for a special event. It was completely overwhelming and so, so, so well done. So if you're considering a cruise ship to book for Halloween, I would give Virgin a go because they did a really, really good job on here. Now, the final thing that I did want to talk about in this video was passenger buy-in because, as I say, anybody can put on a Halloween party, anybody can decorate a venue, but at the end of the day, if your passengers aren't bought in, then you might as well not bother. Now, what I would say is that on here, passenger buy-in was so, so high. It was really impressive how much everybody went for it. Now... Personally I <laughs> personally I forgot to bring a costume which says it all to be honest with you. But in terms of how Virgin helped to get us bought in prior to the cruise, they sent an email to everyone to confirm that the cruise that we were booked onto was the Halloween voyage. And they recommended in that email that you bring a costume that you can then wear to the various parties. Now other things that Virgin did was, for example, theming the programme. For example, when you got on the ship for the first couple of days, all the elevators projected a sign that said it was a Halloween voyage. The massive screens all around the ship had messaging on it to confirm it was a Halloween voyage. So by the time we got to Halloween, it felt as though they had really built up an atmosphere on the ship that was really, really, really clever, to be honest with you. Now, passenger buy-in, the costumes on this ship were absolutely remarkable. Some people have been planning those costumes for months. So my word of advice, Virgin gave away a free cruise to the person with the best outfit. And judging by what I saw on here a few nights ago, yeah, it, it's going to be tough competition next year because they were, they were really, really good. Now, costumes is one thing. The other thing that really struck me on this cruise was the amount of people who chose to decorate outside their cabin for Halloween. Me being one of them, so I might not have remembered a costume, but I did remember <laughs> various other things. So I got a pumpkin, I got zombie hands, I got bunting, and basically put that all outside my cabin. And then I filled this with like little chocolates and left a note just to say, Happy Halloween, have a good night. And by the end of the night, this was empty, it was all gone. And yeah, there was loads of rooms all down the corridor that had like skeletons outside or they had full door wraps that had various Halloween things on them. So this ship for Halloween was absolutely buzzing. I'm such a big fan of what Virgin were able to pull off. Now, I think that's it. I think that's a quick overview of what Halloween looked like on here. The final thing to cover is would I recommend you planning or booking a Halloween cruise in the future. Yes, yes, it, it was a lot of fun on here. Special events on cruise ships, I can sometimes be a little bit funny with because sometimes they can feel a little bit cheesy is what I would say. But the way that Virgin executed Halloween on here was very, very good. It was tasteful, it was clever, it wasn't in your face, it was nice and discreet until Halloween night and then it was everywhere. You could, you could not escape on Halloween night but every other night up until that point, although the whole week was themed, it wasn't mega mega intense. So while I can't speak for other cruise lines, if you're looking at Virgin to cruise over Halloween next year, 
that probably will be branded or if not already rebranded to be the Halloween Voyage and it is so so worth getting bought into because yeah I had a fantastic time on here for Halloween even going around discovering all the food it was just so different to what I've seen on a cruise ship before but look hopefully you've enjoyed getting a little bit of an insight to what Halloween on board a Virgin Voyages cruise ship looked like if you have enjoyed this video, it would be brilliant if you would think about giving it a thumbs up, which you can do just down directly underneath the video. And while you're there, if you could think about subscribing to the channel, it would be amazing because it helps my channel to grow. And I would love to bring you on my journey to show you as many cruise ships as I possibly can. So look from right here up on deck number 12 of Valiant Lady. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for taking time out of your day to listen to me tell you all about Halloween on board. And I'll hopefully see all of you in my next video. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Bye.